You know, I'm Spastastic, and welcome to Spastastic TV, and yes, I'm actually holding the camera. It's an amazing concept, isn't it? And also, my uh, condenser microphone's not plugged in because it doesn't like to record from behind it. But anyhow, what are we looking at today? We're looking at another anime smut figure. So, this is the anime smut figure itself. Set it on the little thing. Go ahead and get the camera in there. You know, go ahead and get some detail because, you know, that's the kind of thing. Anyhow, it led me to a question because why did I purchase this particular anime figure other than the, well, the, the tits come off? And uh, there's some bare-chested ones. I mean, I can't show that because, well, this is fucking YouTube. But anyhow, the biggest thing that caught my attention on this, because I, uh, I got it off a of wish, is the fact that, well, it said it was defective. And other than it, it looks fine. I mean, if you look at it up close, if it'll actually pick it up in macro mode properly, which it won't, um, the paint job on it's kind of crap. But other than that, it seems to be just fine. So... Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to get much more of a collection of these. I was just kind of interested because it said it was defective. The only thing is, is like the face is a little shiny and stuff and stuff like that. And, you know, I guess I can, you know, turn it around since, you know, people that like, to, like these things like to see the, the panty shot. So, yeah, you know, some good good family-friendly content coming from uh, Spaz TV. And hopefully uh, my voice recorder is actually picking up the audio just fine. But, yeah, no. The interesting thing is, is that I was looking up information on this particular thing, like thinking it, thinking the character might have been from a specific anime, and maybe somebody that actually, you know, collects these things could actually tell me, because I'm kind of curious about it now, is do people just make these little statue things? I mean, I, I'm just curious, because do they just do they just make them randomly with nothing behind them? Because, you know, trying to figure out any information towards this particular character as it sat seemed to be pretty much fucking impossible for some reason. Because it was just went to a bunch of things that were sold out, and there was other different versions of it and whatnot, and you know, could you know, could retail for twenty or twenty five hundred yen, about like one hundred and fifty bucks. But at the same time, it was just like it was confusing to me because this is well, this is a Chinese knockoff. I got it from Wish, but it, it was confusing to me because it didn't seem like it made a lot of sense that they just kind of just made these characters that weren't based off of actual characters. But yeah. I mean, like, if anybody wants to explain that to me, go right ahead and do it. But, you know, there's, there, there's an anime smut figure part two. Anyhow, I'm Spaztastic. This is, you're watching Spaztastic TV. Thank you for watching. Some loud techno musical play now. Woo!